Here we see clearly who Jesus is, very plainly what his purpose is. As you contemplate Jesus the Redeemer, pay special attention to verses 16 and 17 and 21 to 22. The verses reveal Jesus' very identity and why he alone can redeem. They say, John answered them all saying, I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming. The strap of whose sandals I'm not worthy to untie. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into his barn. But the chaff, he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heavens were opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. Jesus has come to change lives, to bring us the Holy Spirit. Jesus alone can redeem us because Jesus is God. It's no coincidence that when we're promised the Holy Spirit and change lives, we get a physical glimpse of the Holy Trinity. This chapter, chapter 3, makes clear Jesus is the Redeemer because Jesus is God.